Hello everyone, this is Alex of Machine Support. In this short video, I wanted to explain the MDB daisy chain. This is going to be relevant for new vendors to better understand how their coin changer, dollar bill acceptor, and or credit card reader connects to the MDB on the main control board. Now, MDB stands for multi-drop bus, and this is an interface protocol used on most modern vending machines to connect your peripherals. So once you understand of how these peripherals connect and in the order they should be connected, you'll get a better understanding of how to troubleshoot machine or if you needed to remove or add a device, you would know in which order to place them. Now, if you found this video useful, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ideas, or comments, please leave them below and make sure you hit that notification bell. Let's get started. I wanted to give you an understanding of how the MDB connection works inside your vending machine. Now, when you look inside your vending machine, it's going to see a lot of wires and you may not be able to see how this daisy chain works on the peripherals. So we'll start off with the basics. We've got the main control board of the vending machine right here and coming off the main control board is your MDB plug. Now, this is typically always going to be a female version of the MDB plug, so the female side of it. Now on our coin changer, coin changer will always have a male version of the MDB plug. So we would simply connect these two devices together to the MDB plug. And then here we've got control board connected to the coin changer. This is a very simplistic system. There's no, no way you can mess this up because we just got it. Coin changer's got a male side, the control board's got the female side. There's no other way to mess this up. Now, when we introduce a dollar bill acceptor. Now a dollar bill acceptor has a Y harness. Now that Y harness will have two ends of the MDB connection. We've got a male side and we've got the female side. Now if we just follow logic here, since we have coming off the control board, we have the female side, we can take the male side of the dollar bill acceptor, connect it to the control board, MDB plug, and then here we've got the female side of the dollar bill acceptor, we'll then connect into the male side of the coin changer. So now we've got our daisy chain set up on our MDB for control board, goes to dollar bill acceptor, goes to coin changer. So our coin changer is in last in line. The dollar bill acceptor is first in line coming off of the main control board. Now, if we're gonna introduce a credit card reader into the system, such as this NIAX device here, now the credit card reader as well will have, just like the dollar bill acceptor, have a Y harness or two connections or two ends of the MDB plug. We've got a female side and a male side. Now if we're gonna add this, credit card readers always need to be first in line. So we're gonna shuffle everything down. So we'll move these down here. We're going to come to the control board. We're going to disconnect the connection at the control board. So now we've got just the female side of the control board is going to connect to the male side of the credit card reader. And then now what we have left here is the female side of the credit card reader, which will connect to the male side of the dollar bill acceptor. And here we got control board going to credit card reader, going to dollar bill acceptor, ending up at your coin changer. So this means our credit card reader is first in line. So in troubleshooting purposes, if you had a problem with one of these devices, you can start eliminating these devices and then figuring out. For example, I had a call the other day where a customer had a problem with their machine and it was, it was basically locking the machine up. And so I kind of figured it down. It was some one of the, one of the three devices uh, connected to their machine on the MDB bus. So I had them start eliminating things. So what the first thing I had them do is I had them actually connect disconnect all the peripherals. So I powered the machine down, had them disconnect all of the peripherals. So I just had the machine turned on with none of the coin changer or dollar bill sticker or credit card or connected. Turned the machine on, all of a sudden the machine was no longer locked up. I was like, okay, so it's gonna be one of these three devices. So I just had the individual at that point then disconnect all of his MDB connections, and then we just connected one thing at a time. So at that point, I said, okay, just turn, plug in your, uh, just your credit reader, turn the power on. Was the board locked up? No. I was like, okay, turn the power off. Let's introduce the dollar bill acceptor. So once we did that, we brought that in, turned the power on, credit card reader turned on, dollar bill service cycled up, but the board did not lock up. So I was like, okay, problem's gonna be down on our coin changer. So what I did at that point is I had him turn the power off, disconnect both the dollar bill acceptor and the credit card reader, and had him connect the coin changer up to the board directly. 
turn the power on and did the board lock up? Yes, it did. Okay, so the problem is with the coin changer. So that, be using that, we can, understanding of how your devices connect to the MDB bus or MDB uh, daisy chain is, allows you to understand of how you can eliminate these devices to troubleshoot things. Or if you're adding a device or changing out a credit creator or changing out the dollar bill super coin changer, understanding of how these devices connect is really gonna help you in the long term to understand how these peripherals are connected to the MDB. I hope you found that useful. If you appreciate it, if you could like and subscribe, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Until then, take care. See you on the next video.